And the death angel passed over those who had applied the blood of the lamb to their doorposts and over their doors. And, and uh, they ate the flesh of the lamb. And Jesus was our Passover lamb. Yes. yes. And Jesus sacrificed his life for us. Hallelujah. He said, you can't take my life, but I lay it down freely. Thank you, Lord. And he freely gave his life so that we could have eternal life. Thank you, Lord. And he died for our sins. Isn't that good? He died for our sins. Hallelujah. He died for our sins. And then he told, he had told the people over and over, he told his disciples, he said, I must die. He said, but, he said, but three days later, he said, after three days, he said, I'm going to, I'm going to rise up back to life again. And you know, all they heard was, you're going to die. And so they were so grief stricken because he was going to die. But, but they should have rejoiced because he was going to live so they could live. <laughs> And really it's because He rose from the dead that we can have life too. Because when Jesus rose from the dead, He rose up with that eternal life. He purchased our salvation. He purchased our redemption from sin. So that as many people as call out to Him and make Him Lord of their life and put their faith and trust in Him, as many as call upon His name can be saved and can be delivered and can be set free. And can be made whole. And all of y'all here that know the Lord, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory. Glory. And, and all of y'all here that don't, before you leave today, you can yeah, know what I'm talking Amen. about. Right. Because He bare our sins in His own Jesus. body on the cross so we could be dead to sin and live right. That's right. That's right. And live right. What we couldn't do on our own. What man couldn't do on our own by God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin. He condemned sin in the flesh. He put the power of death upon sin in the flesh. So we could become the righteousness of God through him. So we could now walk after the spirit and not after the flesh. So we don't have to be controlled by the old flesh nature. You know, we all live in a flesh body, right? Right. We, we, we all have that old sinful nature, but in Christ Jesus, that old sinful nature is nailed to the cross with Amen. Him, and it's buried Thank in the Lord. grave with Him. And we've been raised up now that we're in Christ, we've been raised up together with Him in newness of life. You know how that happened in my life? It happened when I called out to Jesus. I said, Lord, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you Lord of my life. I want to live for you. I want to be saved. I want to be delivered. I want to be set free. And when I did that... Jesus came into my yes, heart. Thank you, Lord. You ask me how I know He lives. Thank you. Because He lives within my heart. Amen. Because He lives within my heart. Every day. I was talking to a man one day about... He, he went to the Father. And he said, now it's, it's important that I go because I'm going to send you the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost, he, He's with you now, He told him. He said, but He shall be in you. And so Jesus sent the Holy Spirit... To dwell inside us as believers. Yes. The Bible says, Know ye not that your body is now the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Spirit of God. Glory Amen. to God. Now, before that, the Holy Spirit would come down into the Holy of Holies in the temple. And people would come from all, even other countries, they would come from all over just to get to Jerusalem. Just so they could go to the temple. Because that's where the presence of God came down into. Was in the temple. In the Holy of Holies. And it was a holy place. And you had to even to get in the presence. You had to be holy. You, they had to purify themselves and things. Well now Christ has made us pure. Yes. By the washing of His blood. Hallelujah. By the sprinkling of His blood. Hallelujah. He's made us pure and holy. And now our bodies have become the temple of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says when Jesus was crucified, it says the veil of the temple was, was ripped from the top down to the bottom. The veil of the temple was a cloth that was so thick, it was woven so thick that it couldn't be ripped. It couldn't be torn. The thing that couldn't be torn 
was ripped from the top to the bottom. God took his hand and ripped the veil of the temple from the top to the bottom right in two. Why did God do that? Because no more would the Holy Spirit dwell in buildings made with man's hands. But now we, as the children of God, as the people yes. of God, yes. we yes. are the ones who Hallelujah. become the temple where the Holy Ghost it dwells in us. Glory to God. And so God now is with us. We don't have to travel to Jerusalem to get in the presence of God. All we have to do is call out to the Lord. All we have to do is truly make Him Lord of our life. And He comes in and dwells His presence within us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Praise you, Father. You. Jesus talked before his, his crucifixion. He talked to Peter. And He said something to him. He said, he said this. He said, when you get converted... He said, when you get converted, what was he mean? They weren't even born again like we are at that time. They weren't even born again yet. But after his death, burial, and resurrection, then Jesus came and he breathed on them. And when he breathed on them, his spirit, you see, he breathed his spirit to them, the spirit of Christ. And his spirit was joined to their spirit. And they became one with the Lord. And they became born again, spirit, spirit by the Spirit of Christ. They were born again. That's what happens to us when we make Jesus Lord of our life. He breathes His Spirit into us. And we become born of the Spirit. Hallelujah. We become one with the Lord. Glory to God. And then we can receive His Holy Spirit that's able to empower us to walk like Jesus walked and to do the works that Jesus yes. did. Hallelujah. You, Hallelujah. I believe the believers can do the works that Jesus did. Yes. You know the most important works Jesus did was to live a pure and holy life. That's the number one thing. Is Jesus empowers us to live a pure and holy life. He breaks the addictions in our life. He breaks the strongholds in our life. Yes. He, he destroys the power of the enemy, the power of the devil in our life to bring yes. destruction yes. to our life. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. I encourage you right now, if you don't know Jesus Christ, I want everybody to bow your heads and close your eyes. If you don't know Jesus, I encourage you now to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. I'm going to pray, and it's really the crying out of your heart to Him. To just say, Father, I turn away from my sin. Help me, Lord, to walk in Your ways. Help me, Lord, to walk in Your ways. I make You Lord of my life. I surrender my life to You. Come into my heart. Help me to walk in Your ways. Give me eternal life, I pray. Forgive me of all my sin, Lord, I pray. Break the power of the devil in my life, I pray. I make you Lord of my life. I surrender my life to you. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you do that with your heart, and you really mean that with your heart, and you really surrender your life to Jesus Christ, you become a new creation in Him. He will become a new creation in Him. He'll take away the old and make all things new. Glory to God. He'll take away the old and make all things new. In Romans chapter 6, it's, it ex describes us being immersed into Christ, us being baptized into Christ. Let's look at Romans chapter 6. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Dead to sin. When we make Jesus Lord, we are dead to sin. When Jesus comes into our life, He destroys the power of sin and iniquity in our life. How shall we who are dead to sin, live any longer therein. Therefore we are buried with Him by baptism into death. We are buried with Him by baptism. That's not talking about water baptism. It's talking about our immersion into Jesus Christ. We are immersed into Him. And so we are immersed into His death. We are immersed into His death. Therefore, we are buried with Him by baptism or immersion into death, that like as Christ was raised from the dead, say raised from the dead, raised raised from the dead. dead. by the glory of the Father, even so, I'm going to put it now, 
Even so, now we also should walk in newness of life. We can walk in newness of life. Why? Because we're in Christ now. Yes. Why? Because our old yes. nature was dead and buried in the grave with Christ when we made Him Lord of our life. A supernatural thing happened yes. that's more powerful than somebody getting raised from the dead in the natural. It's more powerful than somebody's arteries getting all cleared out like that, like God did for you. Yes, It's that's more right. powerful than, than, than anything that we can see with our eyes. It is a supernatural, spiritual thing that God takes our old nature away and He gives us a new heart. Hallelujah. A new heart to serve God and to walk with Him Thank and to serve Lord. Him. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Like as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of His death, we shall also in the likeness of His resurrection. Knowing this, God wants us to know this. Knowing this, that the old man, that's our old nature, that the old man is crucified with Him. That the old man is crucified with him. That's right. Come on. That the body of sin might be destroyed. Glory yes. to God. Yes. Reckon ourselves to be dead in the sin. Thank you, Lord. But alive unto God. Thank you. Lord. Through Christ Jesus. Yes. Yes. Our Lord. Yes. Amen. So I just say I reckon I'm dead to sin. Amen. There you go. Come when on. When sin comes and tries to rise its ugly head. We just need to say with our mouth, I reckon I'm dead to that. I reckon I'm dead to sin. Sin has no power over me. Yeah. I've been delivered. I've been set free. I've been made whole by the power of the blood of Jesus. And I'll not live like I used to live. I gave my life to Jesus Christ. I make Him Lord of my yes, life. Yes. I'm going to walk in newness of life. It's not my strength or my power or my what might, but it's by the power and the might of Jesus Christ, Almighty God Himself. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. It's not us. It's Christ in us. It's not my might. It's God's power. I can do all things yes. through Christ yes. who strengthens yes. me. It's not because I'm so big. It's not because I'm so strong. It's not because I'm so mighty. It's because God is so big. God is so strong. God is so mighty that nothing is too hard for God. Amen. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We used to sing a song, I've got something that the world can't give and the world can't take it away. I've got something that the world can't give and it's in my heart to stay. I've yeah. got something worth shouting about. Yeah. Makes Hallelujah. me sing and it makes me shout. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> they can say that silly preacher. We said somebody tried to get somebody to come and they said, well, I've been to that church one time and they holler over there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's true. Exciting. I get excited about what Jesus did for me. I can't help it. I can't help it. I'm going to give Him glory. Yes. I'm going to give Him praise. Amen. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Glory to God. Glory. Praise you, Father. I read in the book of Revelations, and, and John said he saw, he saw thousands of angels, and thousands and thousands, and 10,000 times 10,000 of angels. And it said, and they shouted with a loud voice and said, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and glory and honor and riches and blessing and favor. Glory to God. And I'll tell you what, if you're right shouting now, you just wait till you get to heaven. You're going to hear some shouting when you get to heaven. 